Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jim from Captain Left Customs, um, also the founder of, one of the founders of Reject Model Club. Well, this is going to be an update what I got my hands on. Um, what I bought. Um, and a little update on the GTO. Um, This is dark blue. This is a clear blue. Diagony paint. So when this summer comes, I can paint that car, get it off my shelf. That car should have been done last year. Um Got some of this. It's really good to clean my parts before I solder them. It takes the oil from your fingers off of it. You know, any, you know, dust or anything like that. So the solder sticks better. The cleaner the surface, the better your solder is going to stick. Um, talking on Google, you know, the big boss Jim. Good guy. Um... He turned me on to something, um, and it's something I can get my hands, you know, because of Captain Lips. Medicine bottles. He uses them for his front running lights, and I think I'm going to do the same. Not on the GTO, not on this GTO, on the next GTO. I got to do got to keep every car a little bit different than the car that I previous built. I'm going to try to anyways. Just one of those things. Um, now, for the little update on the GTO. Painted these last night by brush. One's got the clear blue and one's got the dark blue. How can I hold these straight? There we go. Somewhat straight. But. Yep. <clears throat> so. It don't matter if he wants the stock rims on it or those, those that came with two of them. So. It don't matter which one he picks, I can just put it together. You know, they ain't hard to spray. This piece is in. Right here. Because the motor has to go in after the car is put together. Broke the steering arms out of it. Which I'm glad I did. Not because it would make it the motor easy to put in. Because if I broke them now, that means they would have broke later. And I would rather them to break now and re redo these now than when the car is painted. But this piece is in. The motor mounts are on this piece. So that makes it easier. This is the cross members already cut out. I already know how I'm gonna mount that. Um, like two percent on that, and the front end I still gotta make the the thing what goes pulls the um the things back and turns the lights on. Which you know, there's a couple more tests I gotta run to get that completed. And that should be about it. I think I showed you guys everything I uh, have done. Oh, another thing I bought. A lot of people buy hobby knives. 
I buy these from the dollar store. A five in a pack for a dollar. Good enough for me. Those I like using them. They're more, you know, thicker. You know, they don't bend like a hobby knife uh, or scalpel, however you want to say, call it. It's you can call me either or. Um, but the cool part, some people don't like this setup, but this setup is going to help me out a lot because what I'm doing to this car. The exhaust is molded in this kit. And the re reason why this is going to help me, once I put the motor in, I can put this all up in, as in one piece after the motor's in. Instead of putting this, gluing this into the car, like I usually do, I usually only just glue these into the car and trying to sp spread these apart and risk and breaking them or whatever. You know, it would make a, such a pain to put the motor in with this in here. So, this will all go up in as in one piece. It'd be, you know, how I do do my thing. As some people say, but that's going to work out perfect. So, that's going to help me out a lot. That's not even a big issue because that's so light and two mountain points would be perfect for it in which it gives me the two mountain points where the two uh, stubbies are but then yeah, it's a third mountain point if you count this one We'll go to the back of your uh, transmission. So it's actually got three mountain points and it's so light. You know, it won't take much to hold that up there. Even with the back tires on it, it's not going to take that much because you got two. I'm going to have two pegs in the back to hold it. So. And for the switch, just a few more tests. Once I get those tests done, run them through, see how the plastic is going to act, and if I'm going to stretch something or warp something, well, I just have to beef it up somehow. And like I said, guys, not giving up. Too far along with the project, and I'm going to get it done. And you guys get to enjoy it. But thank you guys for what? Oh, before I say that, <laughs> thank you for all my new new subscribers, my viewers, um, the people I talk to on Google Hangout. Um, you guys are like family to me because I get to you know I know you guys now, um, and helping each other out any way we can you know and that should be about it size oh there was one other thing um yeah people doing the drive talk you got Brian doing a toss the bones um I think I'm gonna come up with one. It's a little bit of bite off of you, Brian, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call mine. Toss the lips. There you go. But toss the lips would be pretty much um, anything that comes to my mind while I'm shooting. But thank you guys for watching, and thank all my new subscribers. Thank you guys all for the comments that you guys leave me. Um, all the thumbs up, you know. You guys keep on building. You guys are building a lot of good good stuff out there. I've been seeing a lot of good um, videos, you know, giving me ideas. And, you know, that's what it's about. But thank you for watching.